Let's go. Let's go. Got the net, bro. I got you, bro. Just be calm. Got you, bro. Got you, bro. Oh my god. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Baby. Oh my god. Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Bandy Bank Fishing. And today we are gonna be fishing the lake where the Minnesota state record was caught. Eight pound, 15 ounce largemouth bass. You can basically consider that like nine pounds, but you know, the itch for me has been real. I mean, I've been fall fishing for a month now or more and still haven't caught that big and you know, so really been feeling the itch. I really feel like I need to get it happen. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's kind of crazy because I could go back to a lake where I caught like a five, six pound bass, you know, as you guys could see, and then catch nothing when I go back again. You know, this is, it's, it's freaking crazy, dude. It's like, it's like timing or whatever, you know, so I don't know, man. I mean, this is only like my third time out on Lake Auburn, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm not fishing solo today, as you guys can see. We're fishing with Sam right there. Sam, say what's up. What's up, guys? Yeah. So what's the goal today? I think the goal is to catch state record. I mean, we are at the state record, thing, so. Yeah, that's right. That is to be expected. So, today's gonna be like cloudy. I mean, I think the uh, air temp's gonna be like 50, maybe 60 at its highest, but dude, man, we just gotta catch some big bass, bro. We gotta, we gotta end the season with a bang. We're gonna have to grind it out. I think it's gonna be a crankbait bite again, so we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get the uh, boat in the water and Let's do some fishing, boys. This sucker's ready. It is a bright color. It's a parrot color. Dang, that is warm, dude. That is warm. Starting the day off with good old crankbait, guys. And this is like a bowl type lake, so what we're doing is just basically working the weed lines and trying to figure out if we can get some bites because the other day when I was at Lake Wabasso, it's a bow type lake. And when I was fishing this exact kind of pattern, I was, all, I was able to get some bites. I tried to fish some um, grass and stuff, but we couldn't get any bites. But today, we, we, we will adjust accordingly. So hopefully we get on some big ones, guys. Hopefully, bro. Water temps is 49 degrees too, so that's pretty warm, dude. When I was uh, launching, I could see that there was like bait fish, like bluegills and stuff. Small in size, maybe like three inches and maybe like a five inch bluegill. So they were in those grass, but it looked like a, it looked like a, like some dead milfoil or whatever. All brown, not even green at all. But if bait fish are hiding in that stuff, I'm pretty sure there's gotta be a few bass around them. So we'll see. A, uh, that works just as a little visual thing on seeing these fish. I mean, if this is the big bass, like record bass, like lake, there's gotta be some dang good genetics in here, you know? Oh, shit, I just saw it. I think it was like a big ass pike. I'm trying to see what the hell that was. You know, it's one of the last days. Oh, that was so sick. Damn. That was so sick. Oh, Yo. Oh, oh, oh. I saw him come up for it and everything. Yo. <laughs> and then just pops right out. Very nicely done. Thank you, thank you. Not the species we're looking for, but. I totally forgot my mended. Dang it. That's an exciting bite. I think I got it on camera too. Nice little pike. You just dump them. <laughs> Goodbye. That's sick. I'm not Huddleston. Huddleston? I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some. Too shallow? I don't know, we gotta just keep trying. Give it a good like 10 minutes. But there's bait back here though. Yeah, whenever I throw my lure back there, I see things around. Yeah. 
You know what I hate sometimes about like searching the waters for fish? When you actually see like a big fish, you know? That's, that sucks the most. Oh, sh dead pike. Rat. Look at that. The dead pike, dude. Like seriously, a dead pike. Yeah, he died quick, dude. I just grabbed something down 14 feet. I have a good feeling about this shoreline. Fish! Yeah. Yep. Did you? Yeah, it's free. He was good. It's a pike, though. It's a pike. Pike, not what we're looking for. Cool. Finally broke the skunk on the fish. Hey man, it's always a risk when you're throwing these types of words, bro. Nice little pike. Fish? Is it a fish? Oh, it's a pike? Oh, quick release. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Right here, the net, bro. I got you, bro. Where's it? <laughs> Buzz me! Buzz me! In November! <laughs> Yo, that guy is freaking dark. Caught this fish on the Jamaica boa. Yeah, check it out, guys. Chunky one, we've been waiting for a long time to catch a bass, man. But we're gonna let her go and hopefully catch more. <laughs> Two boas in the crib. You know how much this changes our like area we can fish with the buzz bait. Dude, does your spin stupid like this? My spin's kind of. Oh, you gotta bend it. You gotta tune it. You know how to tune your buzz bait? You How's yours look like? Straight, the whole thing. The, like every wire is aligned with the hook. So if it's, if it's bent. Oh, then, that's insane, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's because you had that hunch and then you were like, we were both debating who's gonna cast it and no one really wanted to try it, you know? And then you're like, let me just try that. Boom! I love that jig crunch. It's what I live for. It's what I live and breathe. At least the grass here is not as nasty as it is on the other lake. I mean, the water is, it has a lot of uh, algae bloom, you know man. Ooh, bay fish at the shoreline. And when I'm jigging, I can actually feel the bottom a lot better, like yep. harder bottom over here. It feels like I can actually get a bite over here compared to on the other side. Yeah. Oh, no, oh my God! Ooh. That was right by the boat. Oh, dude. You called it, bro. My heart. Oh, my God. Get your fish, dude. What a take. That's like a four. Oh, all right, guys. Got a nice, another nice buzz bait fish <laughs> right by the boat. That's I insane. Even, I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even looking. I don't even know if I set the hook. I kind of just reeled into it. And, uh... <laughs> this came up. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Buzz bait. It's insane. Buzz bait. November. Yeah. 28 degrees. <laughs> For that guy in the well, though. All right. I think uh, I'm going to throw my buzz bait again. You know, I, I grabbed it and then my... No, my setup actually fell in the water oh, and I grabbed it. Yeah, I grabbed it. That guy hit open water. The jig doesn't get bites, bro. It's so crazy. That's like a four pounder, right? This looks really big, dude. Yeah, but the body was like normal. Yo, that is insane, bro. Uh, yeah, I, didn't hear the blow up or I saw the blow up. I saw like the uh, the wake. Bro, people will not believe that, bro. Buzz bait in 47 degree water temps. I don't even believe it. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. It's like this lake has no bass, bro. Can you agree with me with that? It just seems like it's not that many fish, you know what I'm saying? I feel like fish on um, this other lake are holding, they don't hold tight to this one. Where do you think they're at? That like grass? Summer, there's literally this whole back area is filled with lily pads. This whole entire area is with pads? Yep. Try this for like a little bit. This lake is tough as f It's like there's no bass in here. I need to catch a fish, bro. Woo! Give me a fish! Guys, honestly, right now, I have not caught nothing. Just one pike the entire day. Holy sh so you're telling me on the first cast you caught a fish? Okay. I think I threw it. Man, that's better than nothing. <laughs> yep. Oh my god! Yo guys, you guys do not know how much, how long it took me to finally catch a bass, bro. On the swim jig, as you guys can see there. Oh my goodness. Like literally, it's been like hours. I was actually about to give up. My back started hurting. I was like, Sam, let's just get the hell out. And he was like, dude, I just got a thump on the white jack hammer. I didn't have one tied on, but I had a white, uh, a white swim jig. So I threw it and I was like, this, it's 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 it's, it's got to be the time, bro. And you know what? It's time, bro. Let's get it. All right, it's good. Dude, this guy's big, bro. Yes. You found the spot. Yeah. High five, bro. You know how long that <laughs> took, bro? This is like a four pounder, bro. Look at this, boys. They're probably like the same. I think mine's a little fatter, that's it. Both Holy shoot, guys. That was insane. That's what, that's what you're talking about, bro. What a freaking grind for that one bass, dude. Holy crap. My first bass of the day for me, guys. That's a freaking tank. That's crazy. There's got to be more, bro. That's a good sign. I was actually rolling it past those little, uh, it feel like dead weeds. And he came out of those, and that's when I got hit. I was about to just... Call it quits, dude. I was supposed to say, bro, let's just blast out of here. Go back to the channel. Fish there for a little bit and then head out. And all of a sudden, I was actually pulling out to deeper water so we can leave, you know? Yeah, I caught one. Also, I was like, yo, what the f And then later on, I caught one. I'm like, yeah. 
crazy how that one fish made it it's like you can grind all day in november when you finally catch that one bass you're like i knew it it wasn't a waste of time all day for this. yeah for real dude on a lure that I haven't even tied on or thrown all day. It's so. Ooh. Ooh. Not the net, bro. I got you, bro. Just be calm. Got you, bro. Got you, bro. Oh my god! I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I got you. Come here, baby. Oh my god! Let's go, dude. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> Bro! Let's get it! Oh my god! Dude. Oh my goodness, dude! Oh my goodness! I'm uh, speechless. Oh my god, I'm bro! Speechless. Hold the fish still, dude. That is crazy. Check, check out how oh. you eat this. You can't even see it. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! Oh my, okay. I have not seen a bass that big in a long ass time, bro. <laughs> dude! I can feel my whole fist in his mouth! That is insane, bro. We gotta weigh this guy on the spot. Show the camera one more time. It's a, it's a take. Dude, that's a freaking monster, dude. <laughs> dude. Dang! Right, we came to the right spot. Right? Yes, this sir. Right spot. Oh yeah. my God! We saved the best spot for last. On the jackhammer? On the three-four sauce jackhammer, man. Ooh, I think that's a. I don't know. I think that's pushing high five. A five, five plus. It's big. I'm not. It's big as fuck. It's big. It's big as hell. Bro, wait that fish right now. We gotta figure it out, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta know right now. Dude, I think it's the wind blowing side. They were like, like the this this side is producing because it's like hella hella wind blowing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it has to be a five. It's insane here. Let's lift it up. Five pounds nine ounces. Five pound nine ounce. That's your PB of the year for large of bass, right? Yeah, I beat the one at uh, green. Dang, dude. Fish, fish, fish. It's all right. Hell yeah. Definitely help us, though. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's like a two pounder. Yeah, buddy. Woo Second fish of the day for me, guys. That's a two pound bass, bro. Put him in the box? Nah. I think he'll just... If it, I think if we put another fish in the box, it's gotta be a lead forward. I feel like if we put that fish in there, it's yeah. something Yep. Two pounder. See you, bro. Woo! All right, guys. I gotta say, man, what a tough, tough day of bass fishing. Like, I swear, we made over like a thousand casts. Tried almost like, almost like every single lure we thought of, right? But at the end, we still caught some fish, which is a huge success. So let me show you guys the live well. Open it up, Sam. Woo! Oh, they are freaking dry with water. Let me, let me flip that on real quick. Okay. Here goes our bass friend, dude. Giants! All right, so let's go ahead and release our bass, guys. This one right here, this is the female, or male, I don't know. But this is the bass that I caught. Off the swim jig. We're gonna go ahead and let this bass go. Big mama, check us out. Okay. Way she needs to go. Woo! Nice. This is the one Sam caught. It's actually a little more brown. You can see it's a beautiful specimen. Caught this one on the buzz bait. That was the craziest thing ever. 47 degrees water. 47 degree water dude. How long this bass was, but this bass was 20.9 inches. Oh my goodness! You could even say this bass is like a six or even a seven pounder at peak weight, dude. Look how big his head is, dude. It's like shoulders. It's freaking giant. Let's go ahead and let this bass go. Holy crap! This thing is insane. Oh, so freaking.
freaking big, dude. Oh my goodness! Crazy. Oh, oh, oh. We'll let this bass go. Oh my goodness. This thing is so big. Just look at this bass. Let's appreciate this bass's beauty. Look at her. Such a freaking tank. See ya, bass. Oh, I don't even want to let her go. Anyways, guys, we're gonna head out to the launch, so I'll see you guys in a bit. But all right, guys, we are finally back to the launch now. It's a little dark now; it's kind of crazy, but yeah, dude, I gotta say, what a awesome day of fishing. Despite the struggles, me and Sam was actually still able to figure things out. I mean, that's that's the fun of fishing, man. Every lake is different; it's kind of crazy because one day you catch them on cranks, and the next day they won't even touch it, and they bite the they bite the swim jig and the chatterbait. Buzz bait too, you know, so that's kinda crazy. But anyways, uh Sam, you got anything to say, bro? No, it's just a good day fishing. Tough, but good. Rewarding. Yeah, that's right. But yeah guys, uh nothing else much to say. Uh make sure to like the video if you haven't already. Comment something down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But yeah, um, we're gonna head out of here and uh hope you guys enjoy this episode and see you next time. Peace out.